Oh man, we got another idiot that wants to be a YouTube star. Well, that part can't be right. Actually, there's two idiots. And you, you get us both. <laughs> How we doing, guys? Um, I'm Cody. I'm Adam. Uh, we are from One Goose Vinyl. Um, and now also the One Goose Garage. Um, at some point, I'm sure we'll probably explain the name, uh, but that's not going to be in this video. We're going to tell you why we are here in the wide world of YouTube. Um, the reason I'm here, we'll figure out why Adam's here in a minute. The uh, reason I'm here, I have had a decent amount of people just say, you know what, a lot of guys are doing this, uh, which does bother me. I'm not a real big fan of doing what everybody else does, but you'll see that as I bring you along for the ride here. Um, you talk okay, you build a lot of cars, you go to a lot of shows, you know, maybe you could put some decent content out there. Um, I don't have a desire to be a YouTube star. I'm, I'm just a guy that likes to build a bunch of derby cars and, and wreck stuff. Um, if this YouTube channel does ever actually make something, honestly, I'm probably going to put something out there for you guys to decide who the money gets donated to. Um, I know YouTubers don't like to talk about the fact that they make money. Um, any dollar that I make off this channel, I'll probably tell you guys and then let you guys decide where it goes. Um, so we build, we run about 10 shows a year. Um, biggest reason, one of the things that I thought maybe we can get some folks interested is we build pretty much anything. Um, I just junked a Daewoo um, that I ended up not derbying, but I did buy with the intention of thinking I was going to. Um, we run compacts, we run midsize, uh, we run a lot of full-size stock, um, we don't run a ton of mod full size. I'm sure Adam will talk me into that eventually, but he hasn't done so yet. Um, we are more of a chain and go, but worldwide, I know the rules are very different in Derby. I know a lot of YouTubers have a lot of really, really stock builds. There's a couple guys out there that do some really modified stuff. Um, we are located in central Wisconsin, uh, in Wausau. Um, if you want to look it up, right in the middle of the state, a little bit north, um, that's where we're located, and our rules are I would call them kind of semi-stock for most of the shows that we're going to run. Um, you'll see me reference Hollywood Motorsports a lot. That's typically um, a lot of the shows that we run. So um, this is our second time shooting this video because Adam didn't like the last one. Uh, so and the reason was because he zoned out and wasn't paying attention, didn't talk enough. So maybe this time Adam has a little bit more that he wants to say. No, Cody makes a good point. Uh, we are a little bit different than most of the other guys. So a lot of our videos are going to basically show you, again, we will run just about anything, no matter how big or small, uh, rusty and crusty or perfectly clean. We've had a little bit of everything and we've smashed about enough cars to see every possible scenario. I know now that I say that, there's going to be something totally crazy that it happens, but we've seen them go up, we've seen them plow down, we've seen them pack in perfectly. We've ran just about every make and model that we can get our hands on that are cars that are readily available to the public. So everybody's running Chevy Luminas. It's not because the Lumina is the greatest car in the world. It's because the Lumina was made in a huge quantity and people have learned how to build the Lumina to where it is a performer. It's a competitive car. So we're going to take guys through a lot of the things that we do. We'll be able to show you if you've never built a derby car before you're going to learn a few things. If you've been building for a few years, you're also going to learn a few things. We're not the guys that show up to the track with the stock plastic bumper on the front of the car. We usually do a pretty good job of getting rid of all of those things. But we're also not the guys that show up at the track with 10 grand stuck in a compact car. A lot of the parts and pieces we make, we sell on our Facebook page, uh, the One Goose Vinyl page. So anything from window bars and cages to, to switch boxes, the fuel cells, the pumps, all of those things, we don't run out and buy everything brand new. A lot of that stuff is trial and error and we learn how to make. So again, all different experience levels, you should be able to take something away. It may be, that's a great idea, I want to try that on my next build. It may be, you guys are idiots and you should never do that again. <laughs> so. We'll probably get a lot of that. <laughs> um, we operate out of a fairly small area. Um, we are sitting here right now in the spot that you will see us build. Um, at least for now, I'm hoping that we will. you guys will get to follow us along as we progress and um, move into a bigger shop. But we operate out of a two-car garage. My vehicles sit in the, in the driveway because we've always got at least one or two cars uh, in here that are being worked on. Half the time they're so big, only one fits in here anyway. Yes, we do have one. We, only one full-size car fits in here because we've got all of his tools and all of my tools um, as we've kind of combined uh, spaces here. Um, Another thing is just everyday life problems. You'll probably see that we have, may have a lot of the same problems that you do. 
I live right smack dab in the middle of town. Adam builds out of the same shop I do. I have a neighbor that absolutely hates me. Um, you'll hear me talk about her on camera. Um, I usually have the cops here a couple times a week. Um, I might even try to get them on camera for you guys just because I think that would be awesome. I know them all really well. I'm never doing anything illegal, guys. Um, we just got a neighbor that hates us, so she calls any chance she can. She can. We usually get in trouble for firing up these big V8 engines with the headers on them in the middle of the night, even though there's not one in the car. So somehow we yeah, still exactly. I'll be inside sleeping, and we'll get a call that yeah. somebody was out here in the garage revving the engine. Um, that's usually the type of stuff that we got to deal with from our neighbor. But um, it really, if if one person takes something away from this, um, I've been a huge advocate, just trying to get people involved in this sport, um, and Adam has as well. Um, I. I've donated cars to people, I've helped people build cars, we've gave a million tips. Um, I'm not an expert by any means, Adam's not an expert by any means, we both learn it as we go, um, but why not have you guys learn with us. So I appreciate you coming along for a ride. Adam, you got anything else that you want to say? No, enjoy the videos. If there's anything extra you'd like to see, always post something down below in the comments and we'll try to come back and respond or shoot a corresponding video to that. Yeah, we'll, we're always online. We'll make sure that we respond to, to any questions you guys may have. Um, you can find us on our Facebook page, uh, The One Goose Vinyl. Um, I'll probably put a link to that at some point down here so that you guys can see that. Uh, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it and uh, look forward to the future videos. Thanks a lot, guys.